Hello, and I'm going to try and answer in future videos some of the questions that people, or comments, I should say, uh, that people make in the comment section below. And uh, one thing that often comes up is why should I spend 80, 100, 1000 euros on a motorhome, or why should one spend uh, that type of money on a vehicle? when they could buy a uh, nice place in Spain or Portugal and go there every year. Now, I'm sitting in this Fleuret Winchester motorhome, which has a price tag around that level. And now I'm going to give a direct answer to that question. The thing is, first of all, one has to bear in mind is that everybody's different. And some people want some things and other people want other things. Now, in my own case, what happened was this. I decided that I wanted to buy a, a property in Sicily. And I remember thinking in the bath one day, uh, I used to get a problem with, as it turned out, was magnesium deficiency, but I thought it was related to the cold. I got this every year in the winter and uh, my, so bones hurt in my, my feet and in the bottom of my legs. And therefore, I uh, decided uh, this isn't the place for me. I don't want to be in the cold. I need to go into the sun. So uh, what I did was I bought a motorhome. I thought I'm going to use the motorhome to find somewhere to live. And as it turned out, I realized that I like living in a motorhome far more than I would do if I was had a place that was fixed all the time. And that is the reason why I don't do it. And I sus suspect it's the reason why the majority of people don't do it. You know, you could go somewhere and it looks great. But as it turns out, uh, after a while, it isn't. Now, I spent nearly six months in the place that I decided I wanted to buy a, a house or it must be a small house, uh, not a very, uh, not a very big one. It was in a project which was built. I think they were thinking of retirement homes for people and it was by the sea in Sicily. However, it was some distance from uh, where the, the village was. Um, it was really too far to uh, be uh, of easily walkable distance if you wanted to buy some milk or something like that. Obviously, you'd have to get on, on the bicycle or into a vehicle, go down to the shop and then come back. Uh, whereas if I just parked my van uh, very close to the village square, then there was no problems. And so that. I think is the the best answer to that to this question. You can a van gives you the possibility of going wherever you want. Now the person who wrote this said you can live off the income when you're not there. Well, that that is actually untrue. Um, the uh, idea that you can buy a property and then rent it out off season that may look very good in theory. I can say uh, from my own knowledge of the real estate industry in uh, in tourist locations, that's, to that's totally false. And uh, the uh, I would also sub suspect that the amount of money you'd get from renting it out uh, would not cover your costs. And so um, in the current situation, the next thing is, of course, well, OK, then the property will increase in value. Well, it might do. That's always possible. I don't think all properties which were bought have increased in value. I, for example, I can think of developments that went up 20 years ago in Spain and what people paid in 2000. Uh, I very much doubt that the property is worth much more today. In, in some cases, in others, maybe yes. Um, but obviously, a motorhome will decline in value. That's absolutely 100% certain. Indeed, if you'd spent, say, €80,000 uh, 20 years ago on a motorhome, and that would have got you a pretty nice motorhome 20 years ago, uh, that motorhome, at best, would have a value, um, a selling price. And it's hard to say what of half uh, uh, what it would be. Um, 
uh, 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 then uh, so maybe 40 if you saw them maybe 40k i'm just sort of throwing these numbers out at random uh, in short i think that the idea that holiday homes and motor homes are not in competition with each other at all it's a different market for different people i think they'll come a, they could come a day uh, i recognize when i may, may not want to live in a motor home and sort of uh, be traveling around all the time now there are very good reasons not to buy a motor home um, and the best reason is that it's better to rent uh, if you've got a normal job and you're only going to use it for a few weeks a year then certainly i agree the cost of maintaining it is probably uh, not worth it the thing is of course if you just rent it then you never get the best stuff you never get designed to suit your needs and there's all sorts of other things associated with it another thing to come back to the rental argument is a motorhome can be rented as well now the same argument applies that you could use the motorhome for your own travels and then uh, rent it out off season well you're not going to find users for the same reason you're not going to find people who are going to rent your property off season but uh, motorhomes can be rented out and there are a number of companies which actually do this so they specialize in renting out uh, uh, private motorhomes so that uh, I hope that answers that point and uh, I shall do uh, another uh, or more videos like this if you've got any comments put them below say what you think and get some uh, dialogue going thanks for watching